Hi everyone, my name is Joy Cho. I'm the author of A Kid's Book About Confidence, and I would love to read it to you today. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Joy. I'm here to talk to you about confidence. Do you know what being confident means or what confidence feels like? Not sure? Well, I'm here to help. By the end of this book, I hope you'll understand confidence a little better. Are you ready? If the answer is yes, then just turn the page. Confidence is believing in yourself and the things you can do. It's not something you always have or always don't have. Some days you'll feel confident and some days you won't. When you're confident, you might feel like you can go out and do something big and great. When you don't feel confident, you might feel small or sad or lonely because you're unsure about something, maybe even yourself. Confidence isn't easy. In fact, even grown-ups like me have a hard time with their own confidence. Have you ever wished you had more of it? I know I feel that way all the time. Back when I was in third grade, I moved to a new town and a new school. I didn't know anyone. I was the smallest and weakest kid in my class and had to take gym class twice a day to catch up to everyone else. Twice! I didn't like the same things as everyone else did and I was into art and crafting and everyone else was into sports or dress up. My hair and skin color were different so I was afraid of what other people thought of me. I was super shy and didn't want to talk to other kids or to the teachers. All of these things made me feel insecure. And for the very first time, I realized I didn't have much confidence. I wanted to try new things, but by the time I was in sixth grade, I could tell not being confident was holding me back. So one day I asked my parents if I could take karate and they said, yes. I started off as a beginner, which in other words means I had a lot to learn. But day by day and week by week, I got better, stronger, and more confident in my skills. This also changed the way I was at school and with my friends. Slowly, I became more confident in other parts of my life. By the time I was out of high school, I had my second degree black belt and was good enough to teach classes to other kids and grown-ups. How cool is that? I never dreamed I could do any of those things. Karate had changed my life. I started a new thing, practiced and got good at it and didn't let anything hold me back. It felt good to know what was right for me. I finally felt okay not being like everyone else. I had found my confidence. Now, that's not to say I feel 100% confident every day. Confidence is always changing. It goes up and it goes down. In other words, we can feel confident about one thing one day and not confident about another thing another day. That's okay, everyone feels that way. So you might be asking yourself, how do I get confidence? What do I do when I'm not feeling confident? Can someone else help me feel confident? That's the tricky part. The key to gaining confidence is to focus on what makes you feel good about yourself. You lose confidence when you care too much about what other people think. I know I've done that a lot of times. And you can gain confidence when other people believe in you. It's a balance. But you have to believe in and trust yourself for it to really work. Here's something you can do right now if you're up for it. Grab a pencil and come right back. Think about what is one thing you feel confident about right now. What's one thing you don't feel confident about right now? Now, next time you come back to this book, you can add to this list and let's see how it changes. 
Here's something that I found helpful when I was trying to find my confidence. First, figure out what you're not feeling confident about. Learn about it. While not feeling confident about something can be hard, knowing more about the thing you want to do can help you feel more confident. Let's say you wanna learn more about drawing. You can read books, find a TV show, or a video about it, take a class, or ask a friend or grown-up who is a good artist to help. Practice. When we face our fears, we can gain more confidence. If you get nervous talking in front of your class, you can have your family sit in for a presentation or pretend presentation about anything, maybe even your favorite fruit. Have fun with it. It doesn't have to be serious. It's just about taking small steps towards more confidence. If you feel insecure about your moves and don't like to dance in front of your friends, dance around your room instead and focus on just having fun. Try something brand new. Maybe you could try some spicy food or wear a shirt color you'd normally never pick. It might feel scary to do something you've never done before, but it can be really exciting too. Trying something new helps you figure out what's not right for you and understand yourself more and more. Find people who believe in you. Good friends don't make fun of you or make you feel bad about yourself. Surround yourself with kind, honest, and supportive people who are great at encouraging you and who believe in you. Can you think of someone like that? And most importantly, Believe in yourself. I know it can be hard to believe in yourself, but think back to a time when you worked on something and you made progress. Remember how you felt? You can do that again and again and again and again. Confidence isn't always going to be easy. You'll have some days you feel on top of the world and some days you won't but I promise it will keep getting easier to grow your confidence. Remember that confidence is knowing what's right for you and not worrying about what someone else thinks of you. Once you understand that and work to build your confidence little by little, nothing can stop you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this book, a kid's book about confidence by me, Joy Chow.